From polar bears on the rampage to eagles taking down drones, this is Trending Tuesday. Number 8. An unbearable situation. Polar bears might look cuddly and adorable until they want to get up close and personal with you. That was the situation with five Russian meteorologists stationed on a remote Arctic weather base. Ten adult polar bears and two of their cubs showed up and pretty much took control of the area. The researchers were camped out inside the station since August until a rescue mission arrived via helicopter to chase off the animals and restock supplies for the researchers. The bears did maneuver around the base and one scientist reported that a female bear was sleeping under the station's windows. The animals became bolder as the scientists ran out of flares and blank cartridges they normally use to scare them off. Now, the meteorologists are allowed to keep firearms there, but penalties for shooting at a bear are so severe that weapons are rarely used. And while none of the researchers were harmed, one of the female bears did kill one of the station's dogs to feed a cup. After the helicopter scared the bears some two or three kilometers away from the base, operations resumed. Number 7. A new cat in town. Who could forget Cecil the Lion? The beloved lion made international headlines after he was ignominiously killed by an American trophy hunter in 2015. There were fears that Cecil's pride might not survive after two lionesses were left to raise seven cubs on their own. But it looks like a new lion has stepped in. Rangers at Zimbabwe's Huange National Park reported that the two females have accepted an alpha male named Bubezi to lead the pride. The fact that the lionesses allowed him to mate with them and be around their young indicates an element of trust, according to the rangers. It's actually an unexpected development since it usually takes lions two years to find a mate, and it is hoped that Bubezi's presence will ensure greater security for Cecil's pride. Number 6. The strongest storm of 2016 hit China and Taiwan with sustained winds up to 185 miles per hour. After tearing through Taiwan in 18 hours and killing one civilian, the super typhoon blew into China, wreaking havoc. Within 36 hours, Mirantai went from a Category 1 typhoon to a Category 5 hurricane. It's thought to be one of the deepest tropical cyclones recorded anywhere in the world and the most powerful since super typhoon Haiyan in 2013. As Mirantai made landfall in China, winds reached over 140 miles per hour, and certain areas were at risk of storm surges and large waves. The huge storm could affect 20 million people, according to reports. Number 5. Dolphin speak. It's long been known that dolphins are intelligent and are able to communicate with one another, but now it seems the creatures are capable of using their own spoken language. Scientists at the Karadag Nature Reserve in Feodosia, Russia, created an underwater microphone as a tool to study the depth of their communication and it was able to distinguish the animal's different voices. Scientists could detect the mammals creating individual words by changing the frequency and volume of their traditional pulsed clicks. As a research team studied a pair of Black Sea bottlenose dolphins, one of the two creatures would listen without interrupting the other as it communicated. Then the other responded in kind with its own words. It was noted that their exchanges consisted of up to five words. Experts feel the dolphin's language might be considered a highly developed spoken language, not unlike humans. The next step would be finding a way for humans to communicate directly with dolphins, and that's assuming they really want to talk to us. Maybe they don't, considering the bad news here. Number 4. Japan's annual Taiji dolphin hunt started last week. During the six-month hunting season, fishermen from Taiji expect to kill over 1,800 dolphins, and 20 of the animals were slaughtered on the first day. The annual hunt attracted worldwide attention and criticism after the release of The Cove, a 2009 documentary that exposed the dolphin slaughter to much of the world, including most of Japan. That film shows dolphins drawn to the shore of a secret cove by local fishermen using nets and stress sounds. And then the animals are killed there. In 2015, the buying and selling of dolphins from the hunt was banned by the Japanese Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Number 3. 
Remember a few weeks ago when we reported about the Philadelphia Zoo allowing the public to vote on a name for the newborn gorilla? And of course, the name everybody seemed to favor was Harambe. China's Jinhua Zoo supposedly conducted a similar scheme to name a baby gorilla born there. Letting the public decide, the name receiving over 90% of the votes was Harambe McHarambe Face. Evidently, a homage to Bodie McBoatface. But the true story? Well, this story was first reported by the Boston Leader, a service that claims to have been in the reporting game since 1932. But its website was apparently set up only last week, according to one of our sources. While the Jinwa Zoo really does exist, its official website does not list any gorillas, and its last posted update was in 2013. So we're pretty confident this meta-meme mashup is a hoax. Number two. Ever hear about how dogs could smell fear on you? As it turns out, there is some truth to that. When humans are frightened, we tend to sweat more. And when we're alarmed or upset, we unconsciously release pheromones. With that awesome canine sense of smell, it's possible for dogs to detect those changes in our body chemistry. But there's also evidence to suggest that dogs can detect fear from our facial expressions. According to a new book called How Dogs Think, Author Stanley Corrin mentions there's evidence of dogs' ability to interpret human facial expressions and study signals from us. Researchers in Japan have observed how dogs can differentiate between a smile and a blank look when shown in a series of photos. So it's possible dogs can interpret our expressions of fear or anger as well. That would make sense. Or do you think maybe the tail is wagging the dog on this one? Number one. The Dutch National Police have recruited specially trained North American bald eagles to help take down airborne drones. According to an announcement issued last week, the DNP has conducted tests with the birds that were so successful they've bought juvenile bald eagles to train. And that currently makes the DNP the world's only police force that includes raptors for defense against drones. The eagles are trained to not only disable drones, but also relocate the object a safe distance away from crowds. Thanks to the durable scaly skin on the feet, eagles are protected from harm inflicted by the propellers of smaller drones. But larger drones could prove more of a danger. In addition to using birds of prey, Dutch police also use laser technology and electromagnetic pulses to combat drones. They think the birds will embark on duty in about six months. The Dutch police are expected to have a literal and in glove relationship with their new avian allies, and that's because eagle talons are razor sharp. <laughs>